brothers and sisters, please kneel for the prayer of Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please kneel for Regina Celli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. 
pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O, o God, God, who gave joy, joy to the world, the world through, through the, the resurrection, resurrection of thy Son, our, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday in the octave of Easter. Let us include the following Mass intention. For the thanksgiving of Denise Ian Bonsato and family, and Luisa Ladion. Also, for the eternal repose of the souls of Becca, Lito, Judy, Sonny, Teresita, Christopher, Felix, Lourdes, Bienvenito, Gaudencia, Castro, Lucila, Hilarion, Elizar, Domingo, and all souls in purgatory. We now prepare ourselves for the Holy Eucharist to be presided by our guest priest, Reverend Father Tuwan. Please rise for the entrance hymn. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned, 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what have I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
preda spre ei. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to the liturgy of the Word. God raised this Jesus. Of this, we are all witnesses. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commanded to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst as you yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and for knowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord even before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the neither world, nor will, will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the pat patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and he knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the neither world, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses exalted at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my life. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I said, Lord, even before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. 
Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Please rise as we honor the Holy Gospel. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the town, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guards went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And the story has circulated, has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga minamahal kong kapatid kay Kristo. Ang mentalidad ng korupsyon ay mula noong pa. Mula noong panahon ni Jesus hanggang ngayon. Dahil sa kaperahan, ipinagkul, ipinagkanulo ni Judas ang katotohanan na si Yesu Kristo. Dahil sa kaperahan, sinamba ni Judas ang kasinungalingan. At ngayon, sa pamamagitan ng Ebanghelyo, Ipinahayag din sa ating lahat na dahil sa kaperahan 
ang mga udiyo ay nagsinungaling. Mga minamahal kong kapatid kay Yesu Kristo, ang kaperahan ito rin ay isang tukso. Ang kaperahan pwede rin ay isang demonyo o satan. Katulad ng niyayari kina Judas at sa mga Hudiyo, nararanasan din natin sa kasalukuyang panahon ng politika bilang Pilipino. Maraming kandidato sa pamamagitan ng kanilang campaign team lumalapit sa atin. Nagudiyok ko sila sa atin upang iboboto ko natin ang kanilang kandidato. Sige, ibibigay ko sa inyo tatlong libo basta iboboto mo ako. Kahit na siguro pan pangit ang kanilang pagugali, ayaw nating pansinin. Pero ang pansinin po natin ay pera. At dahil sa pera, ipinagkakanulo din natin ang katotohanan. Ipinagkakanulo din natin, ibinibenta po natin ang ating pananampalataya kay Yesu Kristo. Mga minamahal kong kapatid kay Yesu Kristo, hindi lamang ang pera ang kinakailangan natin sa ating buhay. Kasi kapag tayo ay tatawagin ng Diyos at sa forest park tayo ay hatid, hindi lahat ng ating kaperaan, hindi lahat ng ating kayamanan ay kasama sa paglilibing. Ang layo ni ng ating buhay ay kasiyahan, ay kagalakan. Kapag tatanggapin po natin yung pera para iboto po natin ang nagbibigay sa atin. Ibig sabihin, tayo rin ay nangungorap at susuportahan din natin ang korapsyon. Kaya kapag may mangungorap sa susunod, wag natin silang husgahan, wag natin silang pagbintangan dahil tinanggap na natin ang pera mula sa isang koruptor. Kaya mga minamahal ko kapatid kay Yesu Kristo, ang kahulugan ng muling pagkakabuhay ni Yesu Kristo para sa ating lahat, ay tayong lahat dapat maging misonero ng katotohanan. Ipahayag po natin ang katotohanan. Kahit na magbibigay po sila ng 100,000 pesos, mas maganda tatanggihan natin dahil sa katotohanan. Bilang isang pare, kailangan ko rin pera, mga kapatid. Totoo. Noong nasa Indonesia pa ako, ako rin ay isang aktivista. Halos buwan-buwan nagwewelga ako. At sa isang araw, pumunta ang manager ng kumpanya ng isang mayamang kumpanya nagdala sa ng isang bak maleta punong-puno yung pera sinabi niya sa akin Father kapag ihinto mo na po yung welga ang lahat ng pera na ito ay sa iyo at itatayo po namin ang iyong simbahan sinabi ko kunin mo yung pera mo at umuwi ka na mas kontento ako kapag mag magkakaroon po kami ng bagong simbahan, ito po ay galing sa pagsisikap, galing sa pagkakaisa ng aking parokyano. Hindi galing sa ibang tao. Yun. At inanggihan ko. Kaya totoo, labing limang tao na ako ay nagiging pare. Yung ibang kaparian ko, meron na silang kotse, ako wala pa hanggang ngayon. Ganun din. 
Lumapit sa akin ang isang mayor, father. Babayaran po kita papuntang Jerusalem. Sinabi ko, pwede ba? Palitan mo po yung tiket. Sakas na lang. Sinabi niya, hindi pwede, father. Sige, tanggalin mo yung pangalan ko. Kaya hanggang ngayon, hindi pa ako nakakapunta sa Holy Land. Pero nalungkot ba ako? Hindi. Masaya ako dahil tinalo ko ang aking pagkamakasarili. Tinalo ko ang satanas, ang demonyo sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan at kapera ng mga may, kapag, mga may kapangyarihan sa ating bansa. Kaya mga minamahal kong kapatid, kay Yesu Kristo, ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay pagpapahayag at pagpapakita ng katotohanan. Huwag na nating ipako ang ating bansa dahil sa kaperahan. Huwag na nating ipako ang katotohanan na si Yesu Kristo dahil sa kasinungalingan. Dapat tanggalin po natin ang pako ng kasinungalingan. Tanggalin po natin ang pako ng kaperahan upang umunlat, upang lumago ang ating bansa. Pero kapag ibuboto pa natin ang isang kandidato dahil sa kaperahan, kahit na layo sila ay magkakampain, pero pupunta, ram, pupunta pa rin tayo doon. Halimbawa doon sa Laguna, pupunta pa rin tayo doon dahil sa may bibigay po ng kandidato ang tatlong libo. Mula doon, ipinapako po natin ang ating bansa dahil sa kasinungalingan. Ipinapako po natin ang katotohanan at katarungan dahil sa kaperahan. Tayong lahat ay katulad nila Maria Magdalena at ng iba pang Maria na isunugo ni Yesu Kristo upang ipahayag po natin ang katotohanan ng muling pagkabuhay ni Yesu Kristo at hindi ang kasinungalingan. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us present our needs to God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may not fear to lead by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of our written Lord may dwell in our hearts, in our homes, and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people departed, having died with Christ, may share in His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please remain silent for our personal intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts and bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, gracious, accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renew it by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has dest destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it our force, this gift you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when, so, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, free throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us have your command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us, grant peace in our days, that by, the help of, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, the kingdom, and the glory, the power, are, yours, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. And forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious will grant her peace and unity in, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say, the, say word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Let us pray. Mm. 
may the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May dear brothers and sisters, our masses and it, go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.